the next thing we're going to work on here is the multifidus muscle. And the multifidus muscle actually is a muscle that not a whole lot of people know about. And it basically runs from the base of your spine and your sacrum all the way up both sides of the spine as you go up. And some of the uh, fibers actually run all the way into the thoracic spine, which is right through the mid area here, and into the neck. So what we're going to do here is Alan's going to bring his leg forward. He's going to keep this leg as straight as possible on the ground. Now this is something that's very uh, good to have a buddy for because they can show you the motion that you need to have. So what you're going to do is I'm going to bring his leg up. I'm going to show him the motion here. And that's basically all you want right there. Keep that leg as straight as possible. And then you're going to have him relax. Relax that leg all the way down. Bring it up to my hand. There you go. And now you're going to basically look, imagine the way a fish flops his tail when it's out of water. You want to do this as quickly as possible. And what you're looking for is for him to start fatiguing. And if you get an irregular pattern going up and down and starting to speed or start shaking side to side just like this, then you can just relax the leg and start over. This muscle is most likely, likely very weak in most people, so this is something that's going to take a little bit of time to train. That's also hard. So it should only take about two to three, four or five reps before you start to fatigue. And as you strengthen, you'll get a little better and you'll be able to move that leg faster and faster. So that's activating that muscle that goes all the way back. And that's like the transverse abdominis muscle. That muscle is responsible for actually initiating movements or your brain programs that muscle to tighten down that core before you go and reach out, before you kick something. It, it, it's involved in a lot of your actual movements throughout the day that you don't even realize. So it's very important that that muscle is strong. Um, it's not a very big muscle. It's rather thin. It traces all the way up. So. First thing you want to do with that muscle before you strengthen it is identify it with yourself and figure out how to activate that. And that's what this exercise is good for. Start off slow. So even if you have to go right here in very shallow reps, you can start to focus on that muscle in the low back. Try to avoid using a lot of the adductors and the abductors. You're going to have to use those a little bit in the leg, but you really want to focus on activating this muscle. I can feel it actually working in him right now. And you can go ahead and relax. And do that several times a day, two to three reps, five reps, whatever, you, until you fatigue. And I would recommend doing that just throughout the day, um, several sets if you want to. Uh, that muscle is going to fatigue. It may be a little sore. You may notice that. Um, just try to keep on it. And eventually over four, about four weeks, that muscle is going to start to strengthen. And you're going to be able to go to town with it. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Yeah.